Now, you know, especially your whole conglomerate, um, Top Off, y'all known for managing artists and actually pushing artists and helping them get to the next level. Mm-hmm. Um, and I know at one time you was managing Siani. What, what happened to that relationship? Um, I don't. It's no. It's no. It's no clear answer to that. It's just I don't know. She didn't want to. She didn't want to sign a contract with me. Mm. I don't know. She went her own way. Would she be funny? Because you usually don't do contracts, man. Yeah, that's exactly. And and I tried to start it up, but she didn't want to do it. So you learned your lessons from Erica Banks. Exactly. Damn. Exactly. Like what? What was the lessons? Because I mean, shit, Erica. Well, I guess my thing is, what lesson did you learn from that whole Erica Banks experience? And now that you putting pe- paperwork in people's life. I mean, Erica is a is a platinum selling artist. Yeah. Off of songs that she made while she was still top off entertainment. Oh damn! So yeah, bus it was with us when she made that. She was still top off. So I mean, if I would have had paperwork on her, it could have been. It could have been. But like I, I just said this recently. I don't want to. I don't want to say that I should have put her on contract. Like I would have held her back or something like that, or would have stopped her from signing the fifteen on one because if I did. That song might not have been what it is today, type shit. So the situation would have been, might have been different. So I don't, I don't, I don't, um, I don't regret it because she succeeded. Yeah, she succeeded. So shit, that's that's all I wanted in the first place. So I never, I never say that I regret the decision. But but then it could have worked out like how Drake kind of deal. You got. Somebody brought him to somebody. He signed to him. That signed to him. That signed to him. And exactly. everybody can eat. Exactly. That's exactly what it could have been for sure. Now, do you pursue? Like, do you go after your bag, or do you wipe that off and say it's a loss? I mean, if it ain't no contract, and, and then it ain't nothing to go after. Shit, if she recorded it with y'all, it's time stamps for that song. It ain't no. It ain't nothing to. Ah. Uh, it ain't nothing. To goddamn chase after. Got you. Because it was never no. It was never no contract. There's no timestamp. There's no. There's no legal paperwork saying that she was top off entertainment. She was just ripping it. So there's nothing. There's nothing really to chase. Got you. Now the relationship with it. Like, do you look at it like when you look at her? Because you know when you start talking about a person that got integrity, that stand up, and although it was nothing formally agreed upon. The expectation for a person to come back and say, hey, man, I appreciate you. Thank you. Here you go. Did you ever have that moment with her? Exactly. That was, that was always the um, the expectation at first. But when you when you, when you in this game, bro, when you're in it long enough, you will learn that it's sometimes it just don't go like that with most people. Gotcha. You just, that's why, that's the, that's pretty sure that's why a nigga made a contract in the first place because it just don't go that way. Yeah. A lot of times. Loyalty is not a um it's not a common thing. Is it do you do you agree with the statement that you could tell what type of artists you have once they get money? Or once they get that fame and that success? Hell yeah. Hmm. A lot but also a lot of times some people say like money change people, but a lot of times it don't be that. A lot of times money changes the perception of the people around the person with the money gotcha. type shit. The, the the expectations and shit that they have for the person with the money because I'm a person with money. So I know the shit the, around them, like the people around, they their expectations change once they feel you in a certain light. But yeah. Man, that's crazy. Like, um, and I brought that up because you see people kind of fall out the artists uh, when a person try to help our artists out or they try to sign the artists. We we kind of see it starting to happen publicly. People constantly falling out their artists, mm-hmm. and the artists always paint the narrative. Usually, oh, you didn't help me, or oh, you didn't do X, Y, Z. I mean, to put it out there. I saw the same thing that happened with Daryl and Sean, um, where artists feel like. People don't be honoring contracts or things like of that nature. Like, how do you go forward, like, try to secure your artists and those who you sign to make sure they're comfortable and that it becomes a working relationship? Man, a lot of times you can't even you can't you 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 can't make everybody happy, bro. Sometimes they expectations be 
the complete opposite of what you told them type shit. Gotcha. So I mean, like with Sean and Daryl, that that situation, I don't know, I don't know what their situation was, but I don't feel like Daryl could say the things that because we wouldn't even know who he was yeah. if it wasn't for Sean. Like he could have chose anybody coming out of jail or whoever type shit. Like I don't know that that should be. I I feel Sean on that shit because sometimes like you could put a nigga in in the spotlight. Just off, just off your name, they can bank off your name and and win off your name, yeah. and and they'll feel like, well, you didn't do this, so you a fuck nigga type shit. Like, I feel, I feel it. Yeah, I feel it. I feel Sean on that, on that, on that situation.